Hey guys, it's Aaron, welcome back to my channel, and for today's video, I'm gonna be like... I'm not sure if you guys found that, but the candles like freaking like got possessed for a second, but... Yeah, for today's video, I'm gonna be doing something like a little Halloween, just getting the Halloween spirit, because Halloween's in like a week or so. So for today, I'm gonna tell you guys like a little Halloween story time, if you guys wanna call it that, because... I just, like, remember that, like, some time ago, I'm like, oh my god, I should remember this crazy time that I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys, but, yeah. Let's get in the Halloween spirit, I just wanna like, put some Halloween music on for you guys, and put a candle on for you guys, and didn't like to like it, but not all the way, because I still want you guys to, like, see my face, more without it being, like, this ooh, spooky black ghost face in the camera, so, yeah, let's just get on with the video already. Oh, and by the way, in self calling story time, I came with my own name for it. Aaron's Adventures. If you guys like the idea, I know it's a bit corny, but I like it. If you guys like it, let me know. So yeah, maybe I'll keep it. So this adventure, I should say now because it's about Aaron's Adventures, took place like a few Halloweens ago. And I was I think it was in like fifth grade or whatever. And for this Halloween, I was gonna go dressed up as Super Mario. Because in elementary school, I was freaking obsessed with Super Mario. So yeah, I, I decided for that Halloween, but okay, you know what? I'm gonna go dressed up as Super Mario Bros. <laughs> so yeah. And the candles just blew out, oh my god. So yeah, for that Halloween, I'd, I got my Super Mario costume. I, got, I even got the little suspenders, the Mario hat, the white little gloves, and of course my trick-or-treating basket thing. So we're just like, oh yes, I'm sorry for this Halloween. And the Halloween kind of went like the way it normally does. Like It usually goes as if my mom is like, taking pictures of me, posting them on Facebook, and then after she does that whole thing, she gives me that little talk, she's like, Okay, Aaron. Okay, Aaron, so, so, before you go out trick-or-treating, let me tell you a few things. Be safe out there. When you knock on the doors, make sure you say trick-or-treat, and when they give you the candy, make sure you say thank you. Don't go too far into the neighborhood, and don't go into any strangers' vans, okay? Okay, I love you, bye, have fun trick-or-treating. So I'm just like, oh, okay, mom, I'll be fine. I'll be perfectly fine. So yeah, I went out. I go trick-or-treating. I just go up normally, like, knocking on doors and you're like, oh, hey, trick-or-treat, hey. And then, and then usually people are like, oh my god, you're so cute. Who are you gonna, who are you today for Halloween? And, and then me trying to be nice, I'm like, oh, I'm Super Mario. But my head, I'm like, is this bitch for real right now? I'm clearly freaking Super Mario. Like, do you not see the suspenders? Do you not see the Mario heads? Do you not, like, see the white gloves? Like, ugh. But yeah, at the same time, I was a pretty bitchy kid. I still am, actually, but yeah. So yeah, I was a kid, and yeah. So I didn't want to, like, say the B word, because they're like, oh, wow, I didn't know a freaking 12-year-old knew how to say swear words. So yeah, I just got McKenny, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm, like, like knocking on doors, saying trick-or-treat, and then, yes, I'm saying thank you. Quite surprisingly, because my mom like was like, Aaron, you have to say thank you. You have to be polite to, uh, to be polite. I cannot talk today. Be polite to other people, okay? And I'm like, oh, okay, mom, okay. And then I'm pretty much forced to say thank you. So yeah, I was actually being a nice kid for once, and I was saying trick or treat and thank you, like listening to my mom's words. Like, oh my gosh, mom's gonna be so proud of me. She's gonna give me extra candy. Yay! Mom's gonna be so proud of me. So yeah, as the Halloween was still going off like pretty normally, or or whatever you can, you can call it. As, uh, like, as I was, like, still walking down the neighborhood, still saying trick or treat, I decided to, like, take, like, a little break because I haven't walked for, like, a bit too long and my legs are starting to hurt, so I decided to, like, take a little breather. And I'm like... Okay. Let me just take, like, a two-minute break. And, yeah. So, yeah, as I'm taking a two-minute break, I'm seeing, like, other, like, teenagers walking by. I'm like, oh, that, you're so cute. Like, like, oh, yeah, I'm getting them girls now because the girls think that I'm, my Mario costume is so cute. <laughs> Yeah, there were, I think there were high school girls as well, so I'm like, oh my god, the high school girls are freaking obsessed with me. Yes. So, yeah. As I'm, like, freaking, like, taking a break, I suddenly, like, hear something. Like, I hear footsteps, like, like, hear footsteps, like, coming towards me. And, like, I assumed it was a trick-or-treater, but it just didn't feel right. Like, do you guys ever get the feeling that you're being watched or whatever? Like, yeah, I did get that feeling that I was being watched. And it, like, I suddenly get got into, like, that different atmosphere, like, Okay, I feel like I'm being watched by someone, but if I turn around, I'm afraid it's gonna be like some sort of crazy serial killer who's gonna freaking stab me with something, so... Yeah, I'm like, okay... So I grab my Halloween bag, and I decide to keep on walking, like, 
like ignoring the footsteps that are like currently like like walking behind me and I continue like walking down like a like a couple to like a couple more houses keep like doing my little trick or treat thank you yeah all that stuff but then at one point I'm just like okay this dude is clearly following me I've been hearing his footsteps for like five whole minutes now and I just I don't know who it is because this guy is pretty much following me at this point. So I turn around like that and I see this guy, like I don't know if it was like a teenager or a man, it was like the height of a teenager, but who knows it could have been a man. And I see him like freaking staring at me and he has this like this skull ass mask, almost an axe. Like he has this skull mask on and he's wearing like this black hoodie on as well and he's just freaking staring at me with like this ominous looking bag as well and he's just still like Just freaking staring at me, like breathing heavily as well, and I'm still like, um, hi, can I help you? But yeah, he doesn't even answer me. He just like continues to like stare at me all weird. I'm like, okay, this guy's really starting to freak me out. So yeah, I like slowly like back away from him, and I'm like starting to like turn around and like walk that way again to just like get more houses trick or treating to go trick or treating with. And yeah, I hear him walking again towards me. And his footsteps like sounded like louder and it sounded like they were getting closer and I'm like, okay, yeah, this guy is like following me. And then I see him and he's like turning around like that and he's like walking faster towards me and I'm like, oh my god, what the hell is this guy up to? Like, I don't know what he's trying to do. Is he like, trying to like prank me? Is he gonna kill me? I don't know what he's gonna do, but yeah, I like decided to like freaking like, okay, fuck this, I'm running. So I like turn around and I start like running for my life like, oh my gosh, get away from me, get away from me, get away from me. But... Yeah, as I'm running, of course, he starts, like, running towards me, because apparently people like to chase other people for some reason, I don't know. Human logic, don't question it. But yeah, as I'm, like, running, running away from this dude, I, I'm, like, trying to, like, pull my howling back at the same time, because I don't want to, like, drop all my candy. I'm like, no, if I drop all my candy, I'm gonna be screwed, I'm gonna lose all my Skittles and Snickers and all that ish. Like, no, I can't do this. So yeah, as I'm, like, running, and I still, like, hear this guy's footsteps, like, running after me, it's like, mm, 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 mm. Like, well, he's like, who hasn't really breathing like that, but... Hey, that's kind of what I assume he was doing. I don't know. I have weird claims all the time. So yeah, I, as I keep on running for some time, I kind of hear his footsteps like, like, like I slowly start like hearing his footsteps like go quieter, quieter. I forgot the word. I don't know. My English sucks apparently, even though it's my mother language. <laughs> this is, apparently this is Halloween music, but yeah. So yeah. Um. Anyway, I as I like hear his footsteps like slowly like fading away. I think that's the word now. I decided to, like, okay, I need to take another break because I've been, like, whoo, whoo, I've been running away from this guy for, like, a long time, and I don't know what the hell he wanted to do with me, why the fuck was he following me, why the hell was he chasing me, like, what did he want, like, why was this guy, like, following me, I do not know why he was following me in the first place, like, why, so yeah, I decided to, like, stop and uh, take another breather and, like, a few, few moments and... I, and I just, like, slowly, like, like, walk, like, a few steps just to, like, take a look at my surroundings, and I'm like, okay, I don't see this guy anywhere, he must have, like, like, left me, because, like, okay, this guy's running too fast, so I should probably turn back and, like, annoy some other kid, or kill some other kid, I don't know if he was a killer, just, like, a person to annoy me, but, yeah, I decide to, like, take, and, like, okay, I think this guy's gone, I think I'll, I think I'll keep on going now. So yeah, I take my trick-or-treating bag and I decide to go trick-or-treating to like a few more houses and then all of a sudden, I legit see this guy again. By this time, I shit you not, he was holding a goddamn knife. A knife. He was- it wasn't a fake knife, it was actually like a real knife, like, like I could tell if there was like a fake knife he was holding, but this was like a freaking real knife and I'm like, okay, fuck this, he's gonna kill me. I don't know why he's holding a knife all of a sudden, but yeah, I just like- Turn and I started like dashing that way. Like he like freaking somehow followed me without me like knowing. And then yeah, now I'm freaking like running away from this dude for like the third freaking time. And he's freaking chasing after me with this knife and this bag still. Like, 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 dude, get away from me! I don't want your shit that you have in there. Like, don't freaking kill me! Like, like he's about to freaking stab me in like two seconds, and I'm freaking like running and screaming. I'm like, oh my gosh, guys, help me, help me, help me! But I don't think anyone like kind of took it as like a murder because it's Halloween. I'm like, ugh. Halloween, those kids are screaming, they're always going, oh, help me, help me, help me, they're probably being scared by, like, the, by, like, the living scarecrow or whatever, they'll be fine, it's Halloween, everyone be scared, but no, this guy was, like, legit trying to freaking murder me, and I'm like, oh my gosh, he's gonna freaking murder me, why is no one freaking helping me? 
Uh, <laughs> after getting like, scared, I'm starting to cry. He's still, he's still chasing me, and I'm like freaking like running for my life. Like, okay, if I like slow down, this guy's gonna legit freaking stab me like any second now. And I'm freaking like running for my life right now because like again, if I slow down or stop, I'm basically gonna die. So yeah, I run for like five whole minutes. Like, like besides the fact that my legs are getting so tired right now, I still like force myself to keep on running. Like, for, like. I don't know how long I was running for, I felt like eternity, but maybe it was running for like two whole minutes, I don't know, but it felt like, like 10 hours, basically. But yeah, after a while, I did like hear, I did like hear his footsteps like fade again, and I'm like, okay, I'm not dealing with this anymore, I'm just going straight home, because I don't want this guy freaking killing me tonight. So yeah, I freaking like, like run back home again, and I run back, I like, like open the front door and like close the front door, and I'm freaking like panting, like, <sighs> And my mom's just like, oh, you're back fast. Like, did you, like, want to, like, stop trick-or-treating or whatever? I'm like, oh, no, no, no. I, I had some fun trick-or-treating. I just realized that I was, like, going a bit too far into the neighborhood. So, yeah, I decided to come back home. And I was like, oh, okay, that's good. Glad to know that you're following my directions. So, yeah, she did. So, yeah, as I want to, like, okay, I'm going to go eat my candy now without my mom knowing. Because I just want this candy now. All I want to do is, like, go to my room, relax, eat my candy. And all I want to do... That's pretty much all I want to do right now, because I'm freaking stressed because some guy tried to freaking murder me right now, like, a couple of minutes ago, so... I walk up to my room, and here is probably the creepiest part, because I still have no idea how this even happened. So I walk up to my room, and as I'm about to go into my Halloween bag, this is what I see. I find, in my Halloween bag, a cookie. A cookie that was wrapped in aluminum foil with a note on the aluminum foil that said, See you next year. And I freaking get scared again because I don't remember this cookie getting into my bag. No one ever gave me a cookie in my Halloween bag. And that's pretty much what happened. Like, I looked, searched to my Halloween bag and then I see this cookie wrapped in aluminum foil with that note that said, See you next year. And I get so freaking scared now because I'm like, Oh my god, this guy. This guy's following me now. He probably knows where I live. He's probably gonna kill me now while I'm sleeping. Oh my god. And yeah, that's that's when I'm first like, okay, nope, fuck this. I'm throwing this cookie away. I, I'm not gonna show my parents this because then they're probably gonna freak out and call the cops. And yeah, I'm not telling them about this. So yeah, I throw the cookie away. I throw the note away and I put it like deep into the trash just like that. They don't see it. And yeah, they didn't see it. I, they basically don't even know whatever happened. So yeah, I'm just like... Okay, let's just get this guy out of my sight now. Out of my thoughts, out of my sight. I just don't want to see him ever again. So yeah, I, I actually haven't seen, seen him again ever since that moment. And yeah, that was a pretty scary experience for me because I find it quite creepy that some guy in Halloween tried to kill me. And, and I'm assuming it was him that he put the cookie into my Halloween bag with that note that said see you next year. That was just fucking creepy. I pretty much almost lost it at that point. Like, I was like freaking like go insane, like, I was about to go to a freaking insane asylum. Yeah, it was creepy. So yeah, I haven't seen him ever since, and yeah, I'm glad I haven't, because I do not want to see him ever again, because he's probably going to try and kill me again if I ever do see him. Hopefully he's not over there watching my videos right now, it's like, oh hey, there he is again, I'm going to kill him this Halloween, ha! Yeah. So yeah, that was pretty much the end of my little Halloween Aaron's Adventures slash story time video. If you guys enjoyed this pretty creepy story time for me at least, give it a thumbs up, comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video which will probably be like a paranormal vlog again because I'm pretty sure this house is haunted and yeah, because of the fact that's close to, close to Halloween, I will probably do like a little my house is haunted video because I'm pretty sure this house is haunted. Like I swear to god this house is haunted. I swear to god. You're probably gonna see why in that video but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!